Hey, this is Anthony from Absolutely. You can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Knox Urbane Mark III armored shirt, available at Ribsla.com. To my left, this is Hyvis Brian. You know him well. And this is the new Knox Urbane Mark III, the third generation of their armored shirt. Now, if we look at it within the Knox armored shirt line, they make a handful of armored chassis that carry CE level one and two, CE level one shoulders and elbows in their new micro lock armor with CE level two back protectors that are really allowing you to, in a lightweight fashion, add armor to anything you're wearing. So as a mid layer, your armor stays connected and you can add any shell, any jacket, even one of the Knox outer chassis if you want. Key distinction with the Urbane, Ar Urbane Mark III. They're using a more structured arrow mesh. You can see it here. It is not a stretch material. You do have some stretch in the arms and the buys, or else we couldn't get Hive as Brian into this. But ultimately, when we compare this to something like the Action Mark I, which is around the $150 mark, where this guy's getting closer to $200, that's the difference. The Action Mark I is going to be Lycra, full stretch, a little bit less expensive. This guy's a little bit longer in the torso, and it has more of that cheesecloth, higher degree weave mesh. Ultimately, in my opinion, I think that they breathe just about the same. I would just really look at it and say, if you like the open cell mesh, go this way, and you don't want a ton of stretch. If you want the other that feels almost like a compression shirt, almost like an Under Armour type material, go with the action. That's really the distinction here. But really, you're buying this for the armor at elbow shoulder, as well as CE2 level in the back, to keep you safe, keep that armor in place by disconnecting it from your outer shell. Now, two colors available here as well. This is the black brown. I don't know why you'd ever buy it. Buy the black version, all blacked out. It's not meant to wear on the outside of your gear anyway. And I apologize to anyone who does really want the black or brown. I'd love to see your comments in the comments on this video. And you tell me why you're going black or brown. And if the reason is because you wear it without anything over it, I'm going to come over to your house and smack you. Now. Hi, Ms. Brian to my left. I won't smack you. You're my favorite. Six foot 195, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size large. And you can see when you compare, if you go watch the action video, this is a longer torso. It gives you a little bit more coverage, sits down a little bit lower. Use a size chart. We'll ship free over 39 bucks. This guy comes in sizes small through 4X, I believe. Again, full size range there. No surprises. But remember, it's less stretchy and it's actually a little better suited for taller folks with taller torsos. I'd also love you to click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel, leave me your comments or questions. Questions, your feedback, tell me on a scale of one to 10 how offended you are that I threatened to slap people in this video or I insulted the brown colorway. It's totally fine, I'll read them, I promise. Now, diving into some of the nuances, the Urbane Mark III, remember, gets the beefed up zipper. It's now an improved, looks like a YKK Vizlon. I know it's got updated pulls. They need a zipper garage here at the top, just like the other version to capture that and make sure it stays in place. You do have a pocket along the left. Turn the face away from me there, HVB. You can see, stretch down the shoulder covering your armor. This is that micro lock from Knox, which is a molecular temp stable armor, CE level one in the shoulders as well as the elbows. It goes all the way down to the forearm. It's comfortable, it's flexible, it absorbs armor, it lengthens the impact. Again, next generation over the Knox flex form from Knox. And you see the yellow here in the back, see all this, all of this arrow mesh all the way down the side, promoting better ventilation, even though Lycra is just as breathable in my opinion. Turn backwards for me there, HVB. We look at the back, this is a CE level two back protector. Has a longer length. Again, CE level two, a little bit thicker. You can wear this under a race suit, you can wear it under any of the Knox chassis, really anything you want. I would be happy if I saw you out there wearing this under a hooded sweatshirt. Again, when you're riding a motorcycle, you need impact protection. You also need abrasion resistance. Keep that in mind. This provides the impact protection with light materials that aren't as abrasion resistant over top. Come back around to the front for, for me there, HVB, open it up. So much visibility. Oh wait, we could see through the mesh. We knew you were visible already. If we look at the inside, nicely finished flat lock stitching. It's not gonna get in the way. It does have a little bit of a leather at the collar. Again, it's gonna be a little bit more comfortable against your skin. This guy's about $40 more than the Knox Action shirt. And I will tell you, if you're evaluating this, go watch the Action Armored shirt. It's $40 less in my opinion, unless you really hate the idea of Lycra, that might be better bang for the buck with a very similar set. The other reason to go with this one is because of the longer torso or you just hate stretch materials, but that is up to you. The next step in your journey is click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at RevZilla.com, read other rider reviews. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember to subscribe to us at RevZilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion on the latest and greatest in the moto universe. I promised that I wouldn't slap Hive as Brian, but I lied.